one, two, one, two. Mic check, mic check. I don't think people understand it. When you watch a three minute video on the internet, the work that they put into creating this short frame content is mind blowing. The equipment, the people, the ideas, the commitment, the hard work. I think creatives are unsung heroes and I'm here to sing their song. Bad guys in the building tonight. One thing I realized about creating is I realized you, you can never do wrong with the team. Because collectively, when you come back and look at the results, you realize that, yeah, you guys are really and truly up to something. You have people focused on equipment, you have people focused on um, modeling, you have people focused on lighting. I mean, producing stuff is quite interesting because of the amount of different categories of strengths that you need to make something happen. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. This is like um, a rental property. Um, I think it's supposed to be a photography set, or it is a photography set. This looks like an abandoned house that is probably haunted at night. This production is probably going to go the whole day. So, <laughs> I'm looking out for monsters. I won't see my mind. Monster, are you there? Are you there, monster? I'm joking, no? <laughs> this is currently 12.23 p.m. I've been here since 9.30 a.m. Although things are in play, the stylists are styling, the models are modeling, okay, the makeup artists are makeup in, the light and production crew are setting up. Apart from that, we haven't started shooting, but from most sets I've been in, it usually takes the whole day. Literally the whole day. But, well, I'm here to give you guys content, so stay tuned. So, when you're creating a set, there's something you need to consider. The lighting has to be as accurate as possible. Let's assume you're trying to like shoot a sunset scene. You can easily manipulate this and create this effect with proper lighting techniques. So if you notice this, it is giving sunset. But the thing is, this is manipulated light. There's a light stationed outside that is giving this effect. One proof that lighting is very, very vital in your production. Bro, cameras are so intimidating. I'm currently shooting with an Ari, or rather they are setting it up. And bro, look at how monstrous this guy is. There is a feedback station. This is where like the director or probably the clients that they are working with can have a preview of whatever they are shooting. It's always very, very important for you to have that preview camera so that you can easily and clearly see what you guys have been creating. So another sector I just remembered that is very, very important is the refreshment sector. Food is very, very important on sets. Even before it proceeds, even before it starts, a lot of times like you see people like eating, drinking a lot of water because some more. Hi, Erin. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm fine. So this is the styling section. Yeah, everything is set. In order for you to like communicate adequately and properly, you have walkie-talkies on set, and you can actually keep yourself in sync and notified of the progress. Cool, right? So the idea of props is not far-fetched. Props are very important on a set because props help in passing the concept, information, and the idea of the video. So there is one more thing that cannot be overemphasized and that is art direction. Art direction really is, is the life of a project. Things are moving faster right now, so the first set is almost done and we'll soon proceed to shooting. And yeah, this seems like fun so far. How many, how many, how many, how many, how many, how many it's 
currently 7.06. Currently, we are just waiting for the second set to be ready. And then we're gonna continue. There's one more category that I should mention, and that is the DIT. The responsibility of the DIT is he handles like files um, on set pretty much. Yeah, so guys, this is currently 8.23. We haven't started shooting the second scene. I already knew I was going to sleep over, all right? But I did not want to believe. I'm finally convinced that I'm going to sleep over. So guys, that's crayon. Crazy. That's director JD. The responsibility that nobody really bats an eye at, and it is quite important, it is the playback. It's a very, very huge tax and very, very vital as well. So, um, if you find yourself doing playback, um, respect yourself. Um, so, it's time to shoot. Let's go. <laughs> So guys, this is what the photo shot scene looks like. It's looking lit, in it? Huh? Huh? Crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. So I don't think I mentioned, but makeup is equally as important as well because almost every now and then the cast is sweating or they need to make um, adjustments on the makeup on the artist. There's Mr. Jide, <laughs> busy guy. So guys, this is currently 9.30 and we are just done with the second set. Like I said earlier on, creating must be really appreciated because the effort put into this is quite a lot. Yo guys, so this is 11.30 p.m. and this is pretty much like a shooting range scene concept. Um, you have all oh my days, Nepa. They are doing their makeup in the dark. Typical Nigeria for you. We are just about shooting the third scene. I think this is like the perfect idea. I mean, the whole set has just been very, very creative. Like, yo, so guys, this is 1:41 a.m. This is the fourth scene, and it's sort of like um, on the road scene, like driving and stuff. It's giving. I guess this is what producing and creating stuff is all about. This is eight minutes past four and we are just about to shoot the very last set. I couldn't record like on the previous sets because man, no more. I was really tired and I couldn't really position myself very well. But <laughs> I'm awake and active for this particular one and yeah. I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like. I initially thought it was all fake, but bro, there are some real things here. And I think it's for the set, like for the crew when they are done. <laughs> so this is one very interesting lighting um, technique that I'm just getting to like see for the very first time. So in order to mimic a window, because this is like a plain wall, in order to mimic a window, um, a matte light is being used behind this curtain and it's emitting light, giving window vibes. 4.35, um, yeah, still waiting for the shoot to start. How many cola nuts, how many yam, how many good? Palm wine, bag of rice, I carry load. Diamond, full my hand, I carry gold. Boys can't lay a tele, can't the food. Me not do doing sky, I know the top oh, much. Guys, I don't crazy energy over here, yeah, man. This is literally like 60 minutes past seven. We are still shooting the very last scene. Everything needs to be gotten and bro. Make a no come clutch, tell me now. This one where you put on co trendy now. Mole Rafendi now, how much you sit? That's just she can shame. Serious talk, not be picking play. I thought boys with a cap, not be for this place. Now we the show them. You guys said I was lying, no more. It's daytime, bro. I don't know how to explain this properly, but if you're a musical artist, there's a sort of like persona and character that you just have to like 
be one with like just natural with when it does call upon you you just be you and you're not just normal normal you're just artist artist <laughs> if you get me Julia <laughs> Jala put me through and lost today guys after an excruciating 24 hours we're finally done and guess who I got here in the house what are bad guys in the building big shout out to you Enjoy yourself. In fact, I need to sleep. <laughs> Safe.